And because our sketch was consumed last time, it was turned off. So let's turn on its visibility by heading to Sketches and turning on this bulb. Let's now head to Create and select Flange. Selecting our profile. Make sure chaining is enabled. Let's pull this arrow. Make sure the material is protruding inward. Under direction, let's select symmetric. Pulling this arrow once more. And to be exact, let's key in 15. Operation new body and hit OK. Let's turn off the visibility of this sketch. Let's mirror this body to the other side. So I'm going to hit S for sheet metal shortcuts, typing MI, selecting mirror. The pattern type to be bodies. Let's head to our sheet metal and select body 2. Activating mirror plane, left click and select our YZ plane. Selecting OK. We need to turn these two bodies into one and in the sheet metal workspace, we do not have the combine tool. So let's change our workspace to model, head to modify and select combine. Let's select body two to be our target body tool bodies to be body 3, operation join, leaving the rest at their defaults and hit OK. We now have one body. Let's head back to our sheet metal workspace and let's check the area consumed by our sheet metal. Let's now head to modify and select create flat pattern. Let's select this face and hit OK. Hitting I for measure, selecting this face. And for demonstration purposes, we have here our total area for our sheet metal. Selecting close and selecting exit flat. Let's sketch the wire path in the next lesson.